Why did Chola conquer Malaysia? In the year 1025. Present-day Malaysia was under the King Sang Rama Vijaya Thunga Varman. During the period of Raja Raja Chola, the Sri Vijaya dynasty maintained friendly relations with the Chola dynasty. But during the Rajendra Chola period, he was very much dissatisfied with the activities of the Sri Vijaya Empire. Rajendra Chola conquered Sri Jaya mainly for these four reasons. Reason 1. Rajendra Chola was deeply dissatisfied with the Sri Vijaya dynasty, for maintaining a friendship with his enemy, Pala dynasty. Because Rajendra Chola defeated the Pala dynasty, for Ganga water. Another interesting fact is, after the Ganga conquest, the Chola dynasty started the Malaysian conquest very next year. This shows how his army's power and his soldiers love towards the Chola dynasty. Reason 2 Rajendra Chola was irritated by the Srivijaya Empire because of the two naval choke points. Malacca and Sunda Strait was controlled by the Srivijaya Empire. Malacca was controlled by Keda and Sunda Strait was controlled by Palembang. Srivijaya Empire forced all the ships of the Chola dynasty to pay very high taxes in these two naval choke points. If the ships refused to pay taxes, they plundered the commercial ships. Reason 3 Srivijaya created many obstacles for Chola's trade with China. Chola merchants complained to Rajendra Chola about this issue, that Srivijaya disturbing our trade route to China. Reason 4 King Surya Varman from the Khmer Empire requested aid from the Rajendra Chola. Surya Varman felt politically unsafe. Because the Tambaralinga Kingdom joined hands with Srivijaya and tried to attack the Khmer Empire. Chola Kingdom and Khmer Kingdom are Shaivist. Tambaralinga Kingdom and Srivijaya Kingdom are Buddhist. Invasion Strategy Before the invasion, many Chola spies went to Srivijaya kingdoms dressed as merchants to select the best place to attack. After getting the information from spies, the Chola army invaded Srivijaya suddenly, which left Srivijaya unprepared. Usually, all the merchant ships are traveling from India to Indonesia by the Strait of Malacca. But interestingly, when the Chola army invaded Malaysia, all the navy ships directly went to the Strait of Sunda. The Srivijaya thought that the Chola navy will come through the Malacca Strait, so the navy of Srivijaya are guarded the Malacca Strait, and completely unaware of the Chola navy coming from the Sunda Strait in south. The first city that was brutally raided by the Chola army was Palembang, the capital of the Srivijaya Empire. The unexpected attack of Cholas lead to the plundering of all the gold and monasteries. Ancient Tamil inscriptions said that Rajendra Chola's army took a large heap of gold and treasures from the Srivijaya kingdom. The Southeast Asian monsoon is also a plus point for Chola ships to travel quickly to the south. The victory of Cholas lead to the ending of the Srivijaya dynasty, and imprisoned the king of Srivijaya. After this victory, the Cholas ruled Malaysia for nearly 40 years. A Indian Tamil king, who ended the powerful dynasty, only for his people and his friend, Many historians say that, Rajendra Chola don't have a lust for his land, all his conquests are only for his people, he spent 70% of his lifetime in the battlefield. <laughs>